Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to this week's episode of the knife guy. So what are we talking about today? So last week, I'm pretty sure it was last week, I talked about, you know, Sabibi knives and how like, I really like a lot of their designs, but they have this clip that bothers me and it, it bothers some people, it doesn't bother other people. And uh, I made a post about that titanium clip that you can buy on their official store on Amazon. And it was like, what was it like 13 bucks or six? I can't remember what it was. It was really cheap. A bunch of people bought them, they sold out, then they loaded the thing up with more of them. And then you guys bought them again. And I was like, people want these, like, why don't they just include it with these knives, right? In a, in a world where knives keep getting more and more and more expensive, and we've definitely noticed that Civiti knives in particular have crept up in price. Um, it's just a nice thing, you know, giving people, I'm not saying like, just give us stuff for free, right? But it, I would venture to guess that maybe not a titanium clip, but Civiti might have the room for an additional clip that offers a different carry experience for people who have one preference or the other. And it's not really just Civivi that I'm talking about. There are lots of companies who could do that and take note from other companies who are already doing that. And I think it's safe to say, uh, we all really like that, right? There are inexpensive knives and expensive knives that have offered additional parts when you buy them. And it's always like, hey, cool, thanks, right? It's just a little thing that's that's nice with when everything's getting more and more expensive. Um, so somebody commented under that video and they had a really good point. And it's it's a point that has been reiterated many times. In fact, I've done an episode about this before, but I'm gonna talk about it again today because it's a good idea. I think that um, it would be awesome if Civivi and other companies like Civivi or just other companies in general offered a, uh, a custom shop of sorts for their most popular models, right? Um, people have been talking about this for years and it's, it's, um, you know, let's use Benchmade for example. I've got two knives that were built out of the custom shop here. Truthfully, I swapped the tie scales that this one, the build for this one came with. I, I swapped them out for flytanium scales just to try them and I really liked them. But my, uh, mini Crooked River and my bug out were both originally built on the custom shop, right? And if you don't know, Benchmade has a custom shop where a lot of their really popular models can be customized different steels. You can do a coated blade, a non-coated blade. You can do different scale materials, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In the case of like the Crooked River, there are so many options between the backspacer and the scales and the bolster and the pivot collar and the blade steel and whether or not it's coated. There's so many options that there's just like an infinite, not an infinite, but a huge number of combinations to make it feel like it's yours. Now the downside is people will be quick to point out, well, that makes it really expensive. Have you ever gone on there and tried to build one? Oh yeah, but... I think that there's a lot of additional value in something when you can actually make it exactly the way that you want. People are much less likely to reduce the value of said item to just the materials used. And it's easier to adjust to the price when you're like, but this one is built for me. Like I built it, right? It's easier to do that. And I think Benchmade was smart for, you know, figuring that out and offering people like, hey, yeah, go ahead and make it what you want. We're going to charge you a little bit more for it, right? There's more involved, certainly, to have the capacity to sort of swap those parts out and make it exactly what you want, which is, I'm guessing, part of the reason why it takes so long to get that to you once you order it. But it's a good idea. It's amazing to me how, how rarely that same idea is implemented in the knife world. I think it, I think it probably takes a pretty big company uh, you know, and it takes a lot of people. I mean, you know, what's the site has like the rat builder and that's cool. That's a good idea, right? I think it would be, uh, I think it'd be really neat if Ontario offered that from the factory, right? And gave you options. Maybe if they charged you a little bit more and there was a, some, maybe they did in 14 C 28 in or I'm wishing and dreaming here. I mean, I understand well, I can wish and dream all I want. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy for a company to just snap their fingers and put it into reality, Right. Spyderco, for example, could definitely, I feel like they could easily do that. But it's like we've talked about before. The reason that we don't have a custom shop for the Spyderco Para 3 is because sprint runs, as much as some people don't like them and, and dealer exclusives, people get mad at those, the fact that they exist. It does offer retailers uh, a, a catalyst of incentive to get people to come to their site. Look at this. This is the pair of three that we do, or this is the PM2. Well, I'm bored with the, I'm bored. Okay, I get it. Like some people are bored with that. I mean, I like, 
I, I heard you guys say about the DLT one, right? The DLT 20 CV PM2 and people are like, ah, I don't need another PM2. But a lot of people still do. And it's still a very powerful tool to get, you know, for retailers to get people to come to their site to do an exclusive one. So let me make this clear. I'm not suggesting that every company in existence and every model in existence should have a custom shop associated with it so that we can build exactly what we want. No. In fact, if that were implemented right now, it would kill the enthusiast market. And um, while that might be great for a little bit, right? it's kind of like using cheat codes on GoldenEye. It's really fun for a while until you realize that the, it kind of sucks. There's no fun in it, right? If I can have whatever I want whenever I want it, it kills the hunt. But for models that are plentiful, popular, and easy to get. Yeah. <laughs> Civivi. Your Elementum, I think another one that's inevitably, you know, going to be really popular. I mean, there's going to be lots of them, right? But something like the Chevalier, which I'm learning how to consistently pronounce. There's a bunch of them, but maybe not the Chevalier, right? I mean, if not the Chevalier, Savivi's just inches away from absolutely knocking it out of the park on a universally popular button lock model. I think it would be super beneficial if they um, had... A, uh, you know, a custom shop that allowed you to piece together what you wanted, right? So Vivi already offers their models, generally speaking, in your choice of Damascus. And then there's like a base steel. 9CR, 18MOV. Sometimes it's D2. Sometimes it's Nitro V. And sometimes it's 14C28N. It seems like they're pretty much able to take those compositions and shape. I mean, all of their blades are just like slight variations of the, you know. So... I'm just guessing, and I don't work for Civivi. I'm not going to, like, I don't want to, um, you know, take what they're doing and, like, make it seem really simple and be like, well, you should just be able to implement this immediately, right? For all I know, they're already looking into it, and they're ahead of me and anybody else who's suggesting it. I don't know. But I think it would be really, really cool if we just, you know, imagine here with me for a second. We have the Chevalier, which is a knife that I very much like. This is a really good model. Let's say you could build this. You could have your choice of their Damascus, which apparently, and maybe I'm wrong, I've heard, I've heard that their Damascus is like a powdered 9CR and 8CR, I'm sorry, 9CR and 10CR combination. I don't know that for sure. I just keep hearing that repeated. You have your choice of Damascus. You could get 9CR, 18MOV. You could get Nitro V, 14C28N, or D2. Right? It's kind of like Benchmade's custom shop has a choice of 154, S30V, S90V, or Damasteel, right? Just kind of take that down to a more reasonable like budget perimeter steel, right? Uh, or maybe they maybe they offer you 154 CM, you know, for for their nicer or whatever. I don't know, however you perceive those steels. And then you get your choice because Civivi has many different finishes, actually. They have like this sort of, you know. They have their sort of black, like their 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 dark tumbled finish. They've got their nice, uh, just generic, like um, kind of medium polished tumbled finish. They have their darker, you know, kind of concrete stone wash finish. They've got their glass bead blast finish, which I should have got one of those out. I've demonstrated that before. Um, that's cool. And then you have your choice of your wood scales, micarta, G10, different colors. And then finally, your choice of pocket clip. This allows people the same convenience of customization, the same personalization and convenience of customization, getting exactly what they want that Benchmade offers, which is really good, by the way. If you've never gone to Benchmade's custom shop, initially you're going to go, wow, these are expensive. But the more you play with it, the more you're like, mm, I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save that one. I'm going to come back to it. Put a pin in that, right? I kept doing that, and then eventually I bought something. So initially, I mean, this is a, we're talking about a project and a program that Civivi would, I mean, they, they, they'd have to put quite a bit of money and manpower into, definitely. And it would, definitely, I said, <laughs> only said half the syllables in that word. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that could just be easily just, <clears throat> here you go, you know. But uh, I think that over time, you know, uh, I think it would uh, pick up, people would be interested in it, I think it would take off. I think if something like that were to be implemented, uh, we should be reasonable in our expectations and uh, expect the prices to be a bit higher.
if they're going to make that much stuff available so that we can customize things. I mean, stuff is going to come in and out of stock, certain colors, right? And they can easily, I mean, you know, take a note from Benchmade here and see that uh, the Crooked River, since it's got an aluminum bolster, uh, it offers uh, an option or, or just another level of contrast and customization, right? So if they did that kind of thing, not an inlay, but just two separate handle materials, maybe separated like this, where you could do something like aluminum, or you could even do like partial micarta, partial G10, right? Or they have their carbon fiber. It's not my favorite carbon fiber. They could make that an option, right? It would be really cool if you had those little split options there. And that makes it even more complicated and potentially, well, inevitably more expensive on Civivi's end, right? But this is something that I think in the case of Civivi and a few other companies would be, it would be really awesome. And yes, it does take away, like some retailers do their own. Uh, like for example, the, the QSP Penguin, mega popular knife, right? I would love it if QSP was like, you know what? We're gonna do a custom shop for the Penguin. You want titanium and M390, that's fine. You want titanium and 154CM, we got that. You want textured tie, you got it. You want G10, you got it. D2, whatever, coated, blah, blah, blah. The Penguin's a perfect example of a knife that has come out in a bunch of different forms. And people generally like all of them. And retailers have picked up on, on that and done their own exclusives, right? So if QSP does a um, custom shop, then it kills that sort of, you know, unless they do the thing where they're like, well, we'll, you know, like, for example, uh, Benchmade has made this work before. So the, an argument against that is that Benchmade has done special dealer exclusives or special run variants of the bug out, but they also still offer the bug out in their custom shop that just doesn't have certain options that can only be, you know, only be found at certain retailers. And I think that there's still room for that. Retailers that want to do exclusive versions of, I don't know, the Chevalier. If it becomes, let's say, I mean, the Chevalier may never become that incredibly popular. That's not really my point. I'm just using it as an example because it's a, it's a model that I really like. But man, like looking at this, how often have you guys picked up a Civivi knife and been like, it's just about perfect, right? Just about. If they just had, if this had the titanium clip and not black micarta, but maybe like a nice dark green G10 and that sweet glass blasted blade. And maybe instead of Nitro V, we would go with 14C28N. Man, that would be killer. I'd pay a little bit more for that, right? And I would. Personally, if, if Civivi was like, hey, listen, we can build you your, you know, we can build you the ultimate conspirator but it's gonna cost you 15 bucks more just for the convenience, right? And the personalization. I'd go, well, okay, I mean, yeah, I sure, you know? I This is a lot of um, guesswork, it's a lot of assuming, it's a lot of wishful thinking, but I really think with um, some of these larger companies that have very obvious flagship models, I think there's this whole massive potential that people would get on board with, right? Be extra cool if you could even order right there as you order the thing, a little bit of extra hardware. Um, that's fun. And, you know, here's the thing. Some people are going to say, oh, listen, I like doing that stuff myself. I like doing the customization myself. Uh, something that um, Benchmade does that I think is a good idea is they give the uh, option for jade scales or natural G10 scales, which gives the buyer or the consumer, whatever you want to call them, the option to further customize it or change it down the road if they so choose. You can dye those scales, right? Or even scales that are already one color, you can technically dye. It's just easier to dye the the, um, the uh, uh, jade stuff, right? Or the white FRN, right? They could even give you an option for a less expensive version of this stuff by, I guess, offering you like uh, like a Zytel or whatever, uh, like the rat uses, whatever this stuff is, can't be expensive, right? I think that would be really good. I think it would be neat if you had the option to sort of manipulate the these these models and get them to be within a price parameter that you could accept, right? It's like, I wouldn't buy that. I mean, I see this in my comment section all the time. Listen, it, had they done it like this, you know, I don't know about the price, the way that it sits, but if it had this, this, and this, right? It's generally pe people who watch my content or watch knife content regularly have reasonable requests, right? They choose materials that are generally in the same price tier, price parameter, right? 
then, yeah, then I would buy it, right? So, I mean, uh, Civiva can't do this with every single one of their models. And I think they should still do what they're doing. And other companies should still do what they're doing in the sense that they come out with a new model like oh, every week. <laughs> they should still do that, right? Just to keep testing the waters, finding out what people like. But when there's something that people like, right? And it's like, like for the Elementum, we have a lot of options already, right? In fact, we have so many options that in a lot of ways that has become a little bit boring. So maybe the Elementum is not the obvious choice, but something that is on the rise, right? Something that people are starting to go, oh, maybe I will, right? How cool would that be? You have, instead of four or five options, you now have 105 uh, different combinations of options, right? I think that would be really cool. And I'm just, I am shocked to see that we have so few examples of that. When Benchmade has done it, from my perspective, so successfully. I guarantee that there are at least a few people watching right now who are fidgeting with Benchmades that they have built on the custom shop. You know? I don't know. That's my thought. I always like to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, in this case, this episode and most episodes of The Knife Guy are actually spawned from comments. Um, and uh, so when you guys have good ideas, I, I like to hear those. I like to spread them out and let everybody hear them, right? So this is kind of a, it's, it wasn't just one person. It was like a lot of people have been saying stuff like this for a long time. But again, this isn't necessarily specifically directed at Civivi. There are a lot of companies who could say, hey, here's our most popular model. How about we do a custom shop and just offer a few different options that we don't normally offer? That would go over pretty well, I think, right? It's not going to be full-blown, can't be full-blown right off the bat, but it's definitely something that could evolve and change and be very beneficial, I think, for a large population of people. So anyways, like I said, tell me what you think. That's going to be pretty much it for this episode of The Knife Guy. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.